Shush. Hi, hi, then. Toris here. So I've been using the new iPad Pro for the last few weeks now, and I wanted to share with you how and what I find useful on this device. This is basically a what's on my iPad video, but at the same time, the applications that I'm going to talk about are really useful and it does really speed up my workflow. So let's have a look. I have already made a folder for the apps that I don't really use. These apps were pre-installed and they are just not really useful for me. But let's talk about actual apps that are useful. My first choice of app is called Duet. Let me explain what is it for. Basically this app makes our iPad a second screen that we can use with our Mac or PC. It's just an awesome app because it speeds up my workflow. Only thing we need to do is just to download and install the program from their website, by the way the links are in the description, and connect the iPad with a USB cable. We can also set the resolution and the FPS for the iPad. It's really convenient for travelers as well, because with a single USB cable you can extend your displays with even more displays. For example, I can work on my documents or my scripts on one of the display, and I can watch YouTube videos or keep an eye on social media on the other one. Right, so the next app is called OneNote. This is a note-taking app from Microsoft and I'm really glad for this one. It makes my life so much easier. One word, synchronization. That's why this app is so convenient. I can install it on my iPad, on my phone and even on my PC. And whenever I want to take a note, I can use any of them and they will be all synced. So let's say I'm outside and all the ideas are flooding into my mind. Which happens really rarely. I can just grab my phone, write it down and later I can check it on my iPad or on my PC or any device I'm using OneNote on. Now the third app might be useful for you or might be not. It's called Procreate and no, it's not for everyone. It's a sketching app and personally I do like sketching or doodling. This is one of the reasons I bought this iPad. I was also thinking about buying the Wacom tablet, but those are just heavy and big. So eventually I decided to go with the iPad. Yeah, I know I could use the professional programs like the Adobe programs on the Wacom tablet, but still. Actually Adobe Photoshop comes to the iPad next year. So there is a chance for the other apps as well. I think it's just a matter of time. Okay, back to Procreate. So this app combined with the Apple Pencil is just unbeatable at the moment. We can import any photos to work with or we can create our own. We can also create custom sized canvases. Then inside of our creation we can use many type of brushes. We can even add customized ones. Also we can create multiple layers but keep in mind the bigger your canvas is the less layer you are allowed to make. Then there are different selection tools, we can also distort or warp our art. We also get the ability of cropping or resizing our canvas. And one more thing that I really like is with the time lapse replay function we can actually rewatch our sketching. These are just the main features that Procreate comes with. There are loads of other things I could talk about but that would take a whole video. So these are the most useful apps that I use. Let me mention some honorable ones like the Lightroom CC. It's a really good photo editing application. I mean, editing the photos on this display is just amazing. It's color accurate and it's responsive. I also use Google Drive. Well, I have to. Because the file manager app that it comes with is just barely usable. And with the Google Drive application I can share my stuff from, from my PC for example. Alright, let me know what you think about these applications. You can also mention some useful ones in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you are a fan. Thank you ever so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one.